Welcome to Plants vs Zombies 2 Reflourished. This is a brand new mod that dropped just a couple of days ago. And before I even go any further, I just want to say huge shout out to the team that made this. PVZ AB fan, Petrifying, PMix, just everyone who had a hand in making this thing. Mad respect. What is Reflourished? It is an expansion if you will, a DLC with a bunch of new levels, new worlds. It's just a massive expansion to PVZ2. And ever since I first heard about this, ever since I was first told about it, I've been really excited to get started on this thing. It's been in the making for two years. Two years this one's been in the oven and it's finally here and I can't wait to try it out. I wanna just jump in, I wanna see what's up. What is up with this mod? First things first, new levels. 10 new levels in Ancient Egypt, 10 new levels in Pirate Seas, 10 new levels in Wild West, 10 new levels in Far Future, 10 new levels in Dark Ages. 10 new levels in... Oh, shit. Frostbite Caves, Lost City, Neon Mixtape Tour. 16 new levels in Jurassic Marsh. And 16 new levels in Modern Day. And it doesn't even end there. Holiday Mashup, Steam Ages. We got two brand new worlds. I want to look at the shop real quick. We got Green Shadow. I don't know if that was actually an outfit in the game before. I don't think it was. We got all of the PVZ Heroes outfits in here. We got Solar Flare, Grass Knuckles, Nightcap, Chompzilla. We even got Rose. They made a Rose outfit for flipping Red Stinger. Chick P, that's one of the outfits from BFN. Pops Corn. We got a Friday Night Funkin' outfit for Time Warp. We got Cattail. Cattail's back. There's so many sick outfits here. Team Wolfie outfit when? You can buy all the plants in here for 75 gems each. Dude, I'm like... I've not even played any of the levels yet, and I'm already, like, my mind is blown. What I want to do to start with is I want to do this, Penny's Classroom. There's seven levels in this, and apparently this is a series of challenges where they go over all of the changes, the balance changes that have been made, because there's balance changes. Oh, you thought it was just new levels and a new world and some stuff? And No, 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 they've completely rebalanced the game as well. They got rid of plant levels, that's not a thing anymore. And I know a lot of people wanted to go back to that. That's how the game was before. Me personally, plant levels is all I've known. So in a way, this is going to kind of be a new experience for me as well. Just everything being back to level one. But apparently they've made a load of balance changes and these challenges are supposed to kind of go over what they are. So I think we jump into this. We jump into Penny's classroom and we see what's... Uh... I don't know. Let's get up to date. Hello, Universal Traveler. Make yourself at home. You've got particles of other parallel universes all over you. You make it sound like I've got spunked on. Welcome to Universe 215, where zombies are vicious and plants flourish. In this universe, I got my taco, and I, I, I don't know how you can eat that. Firstly, the iconic duo of Sunflower and Pea Shooter remain the same in both universes. That ends the list of plants which I'm obligated to mention being the same. Here are the differences between Vanilla Universe which will be showcased in this step of my class. Bloomerang, plus five projectile damage. Toolnut, minus 25 sun cost. Iceberg lettuce, additional chill effect. Cherry bomb, plus 15 seconds recharge. Ouch. Oh, that's a nerf. Here's your opportunity to try them out. Also, am I now going to have to play the level with the plants that you just mentioned? Oh, I hear you. I hear you. So they're going to list some balance changes, and then I'm going to have to play with those plants. So what they say, Bloomerang got buffed. Pea shooter stayed the same. I think Iceberg Lights got buffed. Actually, I think all of these got buffed except for Cherry Bomb. Cherry Bomb's now got a longer recharge. So, I mean, it still does the same thing. I'm just not going to be able to use it as much. Of course, this is going to kind of feel weird in itself because I'm so used to playing with like a level five pea shooter. It's going to be so weird using it at level one again. Oh, does this mean they're going to nerf the premiums? Like the ones that carry me through levels like Grape Shot? Am I actually going to have to learn how to play this game properly? Because I didn't sign up for that. Yeah, I need to get that green shadow outfit. Get this pea shooter looking sharp. But yeah, no, I'm really looking forward to getting into this mod. If you are interested in trying this out yourself, I will leave a couple of links down below to some videos that will explain in full how you can get a hold of this, like how you download it, how you do everything you got to do. They will explain it a lot better than I can. So just head on down there if you're interested. I would really like to actually sit down and cover everything that this mod has to offer, but I'm just thinking like there's so many new levels. Like we're already going to have to go back and revisit each world as it is. You want to see this mod, mate? Let's do it. Uh, I need to... No, this isn't going well. Going kind of hard for the first level, don't you think? Or am I just that bad? I mean, yeah. I'm going to have to just hit that. That just about got them. I've now got to suss out how to defend these three lanes that now don't have lawnmowers in them. I wonder, can I still use the plant food? Yes, I can. I can still use the plant food for the instant recharge. That's good. Get that second cherry bomb. 
Yeah, let's go. Nice. Was Bloomerang always that expensive? See, I think this is the thing because as you level your plants up, they get cheaper. So I probably leveled my Bloomerang up to the point where it only costs like 125. So to me, it just seems like really alien that it costs this much. It's basically first world problems. For my following showcase, we are paying a visit to Pirate Seas. It is calculated to be the best location for you to comprehend the following lesson. Sunshroom, minus 200 health. Jesus Christ. This thing's got like no hit points now. Snapdragon, minus 25 sun cost. Okay. And decreased attack speed. Spike weed, plus two damage. Spike rock, minus 25 sun cost. Injurian, minus 25 sun cost. Plus 500 health. My boy Injurian out here getting buffed. Spring beans a bit cheaper. And has increased knockback. A longer recharge and a longer recovery. Here's your opportunity to try them out. Mate, Injurian got buffed. I already used Injurian anyway, so that's a W. This thing's gonna be tanking so many more hits now. Unlike Sunshroom, which is gonna die if you look at it funny. Not really sure how this Snapdragon change is gonna play out. It is visibly slower, but they didn't nerf his damage or anything, so it shouldn't crutch him that much, hopefully. Said they buffed Spike Weed, so Spike Weed's doing more damage now, and Spike Rock's cheaper. To me, it's just crazy that they're even like, they even did balance changes. Like, these guys went so far above and beyond the Call of Duty. They didn't have to do this much. Hello, Seagull, my old friend. I've come to shit on your head again. I think, honestly, the Snapdragons and Endurians should have this covered. Or well, why don't I hit this? Uh, yeah, I mean, kind of. I mean, this still pretty much is the only world in the game where that thing's actually going to be useful. Oh, I wasn't even paying attention to this. Shit. I'm actually, like, my attention span is pathetic. I'm just, like, not even, like, there's only five lanes to watch, and I can't even do that. What I was going to say is now they made Spring Bean cheaper, I could just kind of, I guess I could throw it down if I quickly need to just knock something back a little bit and buy a bit of extra time. I could use him like a really shit version of Hurricane. Can I still Spike Rock this? Yes, I can. Like spike weed. Yep, that works too. I've made such a mess of this. This is level two. How am I gagging on it this hard? I oh, see th this is going to be my problem. They're going to take away my carries. I'm going to have to actually learn how to play. <laughs> and I, I, I don't know how I feel about that. Nice, good stuff. I could honestly just stick a spike rock under that. Really wish I had a plant food right now. Really wish I had a plant food. They're not even going to give me one. It's fine. I just need to protect bottom middle. I've got lawnmowers in the rest of the lanes. I feel like I'm going to be relying on lawnmowers a lot in this. Lawnmowers is about to become the new lord and savior. Actually, can I still do the thing where... Okay, I can still do the thing where I put it over the top of an existing one. Bro, how are you still alive? I swear down. Okay, so now that we've barely scraped through level two. Jesus wept. On to the next one. This showcase will revolve around crowd controlling plants. Go on then, hit me. Lightning Reed is more expensive. Melon Pulp, plus 10 projectile damage. Plus 10 splash damage. Decreased attack speed. Winter Melon Pulp is now more expensive than my car. Plus 20 seconds recharge. Was it really five seconds before? Got the same damage buffs as Melon Pulp. Decreased chill effect duration. Man, they hit Winter Melon Pulp hard. Sunbeam is now free. Lightning Reed's gonna be kind of peak because I'm already used to using this thing at like level five. So <laughs> it's already gonna be so much weaker being back at level one and now it's more expensive as well. Man, this shit's gonna take some getting used to. I'm gonna be spending a good amount of this bitching about how I used to use a certain plant at a certain level and now I have to use it at a lower level and now that makes the game difficult and I can't handle it. Why is Winter Melon Pulp so expensive? I mean, now that Sunbeam is free, I might as well just throw them down. Down. I still, I don't even know if this thing's really worth using in the first place, because how much do you even get from this? That's five sun. I mean, I guess so. I think the attitude I've got to take with it is it's free, so I lose nothing by throwing them down. I don't know what kind of setup I'm going for here. I guess I'm going like Sunshroom, Lightning Reed, Sunshroom, Spring Bean. See, he's useful for that, at least. Knights are going to be a problem. They're hella bulky, and lightning reeds don't do very well at killing them. I don't know. This is a weird one. Armor up the lanky Johnny. He's so lanky, the armor doesn't even cover him fully. Like, we're in a shirt that's three sizes too small. It's kind of hard to tell whether or not I'm actually holding this together, or if my doom is slowly approaching. Oh, that damn piano's back. No, get him away. Oh, why's there got to be so many of them? That's it. Hold him. Hold him. 
Uh, give me the sun, give me the sun. I was taking the piss out of the piano. I can't multitask. I can't take the piss and play. Yeah, this ain't holding up. I'm, I'm thinking we're probably going to have to go for a bit of a factory reset here. Just let the lawnmowers... I mean, now the piano's gone, it's not as bad. Let them take that bottom middle. And the bottom, honestly. Take take both of them. Take both of them. Oh, Spike Rock would be so helpful right now. I would just deal with the piano straight away. Here's what I'm going to try. And put this lightning re right in front of him and then plant food it. And it doesn't even go for him. Once again, we're hanging on by the skin of our teeth. Maybe a sip of tea will help. You know, decaf tea just doesn't hit the same. Next level. Oh, far future. Haven't been here since the last episode. Here are the plant differences which will be showcased in this step of my class. Primal Sunflower is more expensive, but it has more health. Red Stinger increased durability in defensive states. Oh, see, now I'm listening. So Red Stinger got a tidy little buff. Laser Bean's more expensive, but extra damage. Citron's cheaper and capable of splash. Blover plus 25 seconds recharge. I mean, that's fine as long as you're not sending these guys. Okay, there's some interesting ones in there. I really want to try out Red Stinger because I already quite like this thing as an offensive plant. It's basically just repeater. But then, of course, it has the gimmick where the further up the field you put it, it has this defensive state as well. And they're saying it's got more defensive capability now. So say if I stick him like there, I'm intrigued to see just how long he can kind of hold him off. And I'll put another one back here i don't know i do like red stinger though this like design wise was always one of my favorite plants so if they've made this thing better then like where do i sign take my money uh quickly do that before that primal sunflower dies although they'll be um do you know what just don't need to be doing that as early as I am, but honestly, I see that's exactly what I was, that's exactly what the plan was. I knew that pylon mech was going to appear right there. <laughs> Let's throw that red stinger down there. I want to see how long he lasts. Your, my primal sunflowers are dead, which is not good because I now have no sun production at all. I'm going to throw that down there. Oh, he's already killed the stinger. Oh, I didn't really get much of an indication there. My attention was elsewhere. Fire the other laser. Is that citron going to go off in time? He just, it just went off in time. Nice. I thought I gagged on that like a turgid knob, but he's only gone and pulled it out of the bag. I didn't get too much takeaway from that one, really, other than... Red Sting is a bit more versatile now, and my favorite sun production is more expensive. Oh, Jurassic Marsh, here we go. I'm almost dreading this one. Primal Pea Shoot is more expensive. Caveman Johnny, aka Budgie Smuggler's Johnny, is more expensive. Primal Potato Mine has a longer recharge. Ow. And a longer arming time. Oh, they nerfed the shit out of that. They really just said, fuck your lord and savior. Find a new one. Chanel is a bit cheaper. I'm sure someone's going to want it for Christmas, so that helps. And it has a shorter recharge. Intensive carrot, minus 25 sun cost, minus five second recharge. So intensive carrot and perfume shroom have been buffed. Primal potato mine got slaughtered. Look at how they massacred my boy. It takes 15 seconds to arm now. Like that was the whole appeal was that it armed quickly. Oh, hello, blue. I haven't seen you in a minute. Do you know what? You're swapping sides straight away. You smell that? Smells like the better team. And Johnny's still wearing Speedos. Look how long this thing's taking, man. It's not even going to go off. Christ's sake. Do you know what? I can at least plant food it. Blue's coming back in, but there's nothing in that lane just yet. Let me drop that one, like, right there. He really pushed the bucket head back to where I was trying to... Do you know what? Chanel wouldn't go amiss. Right there. I can't actually afford to lose this bottom lane, so... I know we're cheating very early on here, but just bear with me, okay? Wow, he really ate that whole thing. Nothing a fresh pair of Speedos can't handle. Blue, you need to just chill out. Where do I drop it? Where do I drop it? Good question. There. Wait, did they nerf the plant food as well? I swear down, it normally sends 
two other mines out, and I only saw one. Man, they really didn't want me using Primal Potato Mine in this. Rex, no, 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 just no. I got all three of them there. I got the whole team. I have to do this. I'm a bit concerned about this top lane. Go on, just push this one back a little bit further. Or at least buy enough time until the Primal Potato Mine activates, which should be... I don't know, about an hour. There it is. Oh my god. Dude, I'm gonna have to rethink my strategies entirely here. We're gonna have to come up with some whole new setups, and now we're back in Neon Mixtape Tour. In this lesson, we'll cover some less categorical plants. Category? Did I say that right? Many of them reside in the 1980s, so the location only seemed appropriate. What do we got? Fat Beat, plus 10 second recharge. Busted. Plus 5 shock damage, plus 5 critical shock damage. I'll take that as an overall buff. Pepper Pole... Okay, that's a good change. Minus 10 second recharge. That's not bad. That's not bad. Garlic minus 10 second recharge. Oh, now, hang on a minute. Is is it is it is it time? Are we going to do the setup? The setup? Increased bite health capacity. It lasts longer. We're doing the setup. We're totally doing the setup. Celery Stalker plus five second recharge. Time Warp plus 125 sun cost. But available to use in all worlds. You have no idea what you've just done. You realize now... I am never not bringing Time Warp. With that one change alone, Time Warp has now just become a permanent part of the setup. Now we've got the opportunity to try them out. Okay, I'm actually, I'm kind of excited for this one. I think now could be the time. I like the change they made to Pepper Pole as well, because the thing that always put me off from using Pepper Pole was how long it took to recharge. So that's a good change. That might make a good alternative to Melon Pole. I mean, I've always kind of liked using Fire Plants anyway, so yeah, that sounds good. Garlic right there. They low-key been setting me up for this strategy. They heard my genius idea way back when, and they were like, mate, we're making that happen. Because obviously I invented it. <laughs> it's not like anyone else could have possibly had the two brain cells to rub together to come up with it before I did. Let's start getting some pepper pots down in these middle lanes. Well, this middle lane, uh, and then the top and bottom. Uh, I'm going to hit this. Of course, that's the thing as well. If I was really desperate and I had a spare plant food lying around, I could just use that to instant recharge. Instant recharge the time warp, you know, you know what I'm saying? If I was that desperate, which I can't promise that that won't happen. It may even happen right here, right now. Roller skater needs to die because she's fucking up my plan. I'll tell you what, let me get some more pepper pulse down. Because it's the roller skaters in these lanes that I'm having trouble with, so. Roller skaters are the great crutch, but fear not, my friend. For I have the time warp. <laughs> I have time on my side. Oh, I'm on some scrub shit. Absolute scrub shit. Celery stalker, though. Cleaning house on them bucket heads. I kind of forgot how powerful celery stalker is. Look at him go. Look, he's just... Right up his bum hole. We've got one level left. I don't know where we're going for this one. It's not going to be Big Wave Beach, is it? Oh, thank God. Oh, I really thought we were going Big Wave Beach just then. Welcome to the final step of this course. Oh, the Shadow Family. Okay. I'm interested to see these changes because I could never really make my mind up on how I felt about the Shadow Plants. I like some of them, I guess. Moonflower, more expensive. And longer recharge. And less health. Nerf the shit out of that, why don't you? Nightshade, plus 75 sun cost. That's double. Plus 400 melee damage. They buffed his damage so much, they had to put an extra E on the end of it. Plus 50 projectile damage. Damn, okay. Dusklobber, plus 100 sun cost. Grape shot, plus 50 sun cost. Plus 25 second recharge. Minus 800 explosion damage. Gold Bloom no longer recharges instantly. And minus 150 sun output. Wow, okay. What does that even mean? Does that mean I'm not going to be able to use Gold Bloom at the start of the level? Have fun trying them out. Yeah, just nerf everything into the floor and then tell me have fun trying them out. Wait a minute. Why are you here? I have defeated you. I beat your entire game. Why are you still here? I think the biggest takeaway from that one was how hard they've nerfed Grape Shot. I don't know. I feel like they might have seen my last video and <laughs> they saw my last video and they're like, hell no, nah, he ain't doing that again. I want to try this though. Let me put him down there. I think if I put him in the aura, that counts as the projectile attack. Let me put one there. Okay, so that just insta-kills him. See, it's kind of like you have to not put them in the aura to get them to use the melee attack. Still got time warp. 
That's good. That makes me very happy. All right, should we try out this grape shot and see... Should we attempt to see what this thing still has to offer? I won't do it just yet. I'm going to put that, like, right there. Just wiped him out instantly. Let me just try this. Okay, still pretty much insta-kills everything, but... And I can still pick up a plant food and, uh... Do what I do best. I'm telling you what, mate. You need to just ban me from using this thing. Because I will just... Like, I don't care. Oh, I just spotted you-know-who. So if I could have that back... In your own time, that would be much... Uh... Obliged. Can I drop that, like, right on top of the wizard? No, he just turns it... I really hate this thing. Hogwarts have failed you. I can't do it with a straight face. Drop that. Activate it. Good. Drop that. And he's out of here. And that is level seven. You're all caught up and ready to exit out the classroom into the real world. Oh, God. Oh, not the real world. Could you imagine if she just popped up and she was just like... Yeah, so that concludes the course. However, I couldn't help but notice that you used the plant food to instant recharge a grape shot. You failed, mate. Back to the beginning. Start again. So I guess now we're up to date with... The balance changes. We got this set of challenges here as well. I'm not actually sure what that is. Complete each step in an epic quest chain for an awesome... Okay, I'm not going to worry about that now. I think that pretty much covers the basics. And I think that's going to do it. Lads, I hope you've enjoyed this. All I got to say is big salute. This mod is incredible. I've not even really properly got into it yet, and I'm already hooked. And the fact that we got so many more levels that we can play in the existing worlds and then new worlds on top of that, like, I'm actually so excited. And I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you want to see me continue this, you realize if we want to beat all of this, we're talking like, we're talking like a whole DLC series. We're talking hundreds of levels that we've got to play. We could be with this one a little while. I'm up for it. The question is, are you up for it? Let me know, and I'll see you next time.